Hello guys, today I am going to demonstrate you a small procedure in which I am going to use a sodium hyaluronate injection in a gentleman's knee. He is suffering from early arthritis and is complaining of a lot of pain. So we are trying this hyaluronic acid injection which comes in different trained names uh, and we will try that to see if it helps his symptoms. So it is a small a simple uh, procedure which I do it in theatre under all uh, aseptic uh, precaution. So I'll show you how I do it, uh, do this injection uh, in this group of patients. So um, if you are uh, learning to do knee injection, I think I've already uploaded a video. Um, this is your patella, this is the top of the patella, this is the bottom part of the patella, I can feel it. And then this is the tibial tuberosity, this is the joint line, this is the medial joint line, this is the lateral joint line. Now in between the inferior border of patella, and this joint line, when you put it, there is a soft spot. So soft spot is just around here, so in between somewhere there. So this is your area where you want to inject. Now you don't want to go straight because then you will hit the condyles. You don't want to go this way because then you will enter the half of fat pad or into the tendon. So you angle at 45. So between this and this, you angle at 45, you will be straight into the joint and this is the least way of, least painful way of doing this. So this uh, sodium hyaluronic acid usually comes in a pre-filled uh, syringe like this. All you have to do is attach a needle. Uh, needle, I have taken it a green needle which comes with a 10 ml syringe. Um, this is because this is a slightly viscous fluid. Um, I usually use a slightly thinner gauge needle when I am injecting a depot because uh, it is not viscous. This is viscous. If you use a thin needle then you will struggle to push this viscous st uh, stuff inside. So straight as I said, not like this, not like this, at 45, straight into the joint, aspirate and then slowly inject into the joint. And even with this I am finding some resistance. So because it is a thick stuff, just need to be patient, just patient. So this is all done. So I am just going to take this out and then we are going to just put some steri strips. The key is that do not take this as a very simple procedure because you are injecting something into the joint. So make sure that the condition is absolutely either sterile or as aseptic as possible. So this is all done. So I am just going to take this out and then we are going to just put some steri strips. The key is that do not take this as a very simple procedure because you are injecting something into the joint. So make sure that the condition is absolutely either sterile or as aseptic as possible. So viewers, this was a demonstration of how to inject sodium hyaluronate in uh, somebody's knee. Uh, I think the key uh, points are that do not take it lightly. You are injecting into the joint. So it should be done in absolutely uh, clean at neat, neat atmosphere, preferably in theater if you can. Uh, uh, do it. Also use a slightly wider gauge needle because this stuff is quite viscous and if you use a thin needle, you will struggle to push it in. Keep going slowly. Do not try to push a lot of fluid suddenly because then it causes a lot of pain to the patient. So go slow so that patient feels the least amount of pain. I hope uh, this video will give you some insight about how to inject a, a gentleman's knee and this uh, approach can be used for injecting anything like PRP, steroid. Um, or uh, the sodium hyaluronate uh, in anybody's knee. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and do share our channel. Thank you.